Welcome to the Kalispell Warhawks Dynasty. My name is Mr. Hurricane. Today begins Mountain West Conference play as the 2-1 Warhawks take on the 2-0 San Jose State Spartans. Kalispell opened the season with two good victories, but in a tough game against Washington State last week, the Warhawks did not look very good. Now that Mountain West play is here, we're going to find out who the Warhawks really are. Here we go, conference play is here and we're underway. Ja'Cory Day will handle this return from the goal line, here he comes. A spin, Day is met, he tries to go back to the middle and this is a short return for the Warhawks. I don't believe we've ever seen Kalispell wear these uniforms before, green and white jerseys as JR Battle starts in the air, looks to bail out to his left and he's taken down for the sack. Last week's matchup really emphasized the issues along this offensive line. Second and long battle, nearly sacked again. Stays on his feet and he'll take off. JR battle for the first down. One of the longest runs for Kalispell on the season. Narrowly avoiding a two sack start to the day. New set of downs after JR battles, big run. Now Roscoe Sheridan carries and they just haven't got him going this season. It's very disappointing. We know how talented Sheridan is. Play fake now, battle outright. He's gonna sail it downfield to Sonny Archer in San Jose State territory, and that is a 31-yard connection. Look at that massive hole in the defense. Three receivers in the pattern. It's Sheridan up the gut, and he's taken down in a hurry after a gain of four. Sheridan just 158 on the ground entering this game. Corey Miller checks in on third down, pass complete to Donnie Castillo. And if there is a weakness on this defense, it's that linebacker. On first down, swing screen and they're all over it. Corey Miller taken down for a loss. A stack on the left side, watch what they do there. Battle, chased right, gets it out left and Castillo breaks a tackle, a first down again. Kalispell making some tough plays. San Jose State has to be frustrated. They'll give it to Sheridan now on second down. He'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Kalispell. And all of this coming after they nearly sacked JR Battle on two straight plays. What a drive for the Warhawks. 7 0. The offense didn't play well last week. That's a good start. Now we'll see the defense, who also struggled in last week's game. Catch made here by Charlie Doucette for a gain of three. Here is Aaron back to pass on second down, going up the sideline and Soul tightrope sit for a gain of 14. First down, Spartans. Three receivers here for San Jose State. Hall on the carry, going right through the middle. Shane Hall for an easy gain of 11. Doucette and Avery the tight ends as they run it to the right. Hall redirects, finds the hole and gets tripped up. And if he didn't lose his balance, that is likely a Spartan touchdown. Very good vision, just a little contact sent him to the ground. Aaron heads to the air again, and this is caught by Soul, hit by Malcolm Neal, setting up third and inches. Two tight ends on the right. They'll run it, and Hole is met. He's forced backwards and loses four yards on the play. Tackled in the backfield by James Watson. Looked like he was very short, but a broken tackle actually forced him backwards. So that'll call on the field goal team. San Jose State gets on the board, but they have to be frustrated. They have had some really unlucky plays so far. 7-3 Kalispell and a break outside by Ja'Cory Day. To the 40, it's a good return setting up the offense with a short field. Stack left, first down, toss to Sheridan. Nice block by Archer, and Sheridan to the outside gets into Spartan territory on a gain of 14. Kalispell's longest run this season is just 18 yards. As they run it again, Sheridan now for a gain of six. Stacking Williams and Archer to the left, third and four. Battle, gets it away just in time, but no conversion. Miller stopped near the line of scrimmage. And that'll bring out Lorenzo Bell, who has had a great start to his Kalispell career. About a 50-51 yard try, and he buries it through the uprights. Kalispell up 10-3. The Warhawks enter today averaging 18 points per game on offense, allowing 16.7 on defense. This is Jaquan Blackwell for a gain of six. 
Last week, the pass defense definitely wasn't as strong. We'll see if they return to form today as they sack Montel Aaron. It is Eugene Howell who has a sack in every game this year. Kalispell taking over on first down. JR Battle with a lob. It's intercepted by Green. He'll take it back inside the 30, gets around Castillo to the 10. Green met, but scores! Touchdown, Spartans! Almost everything went Kalispell's way before this. A pick six ties the game, and just seeing how things have unfolded so far, I don't think we were that far away from a San Jose State blowout to start things, as Kalispell's gotten pretty lucky. Gain of eight here for Roscoe Sheridan. Battle now two interceptions on the season, as Roscoe Sheridan again plowing through the middle, gain of four. Miller checks in after a couple carries. They hand it to him, shoved to the outside. And Miller says, thank you very much. I'll pick up the first down on a gain of 14. Miller continues to get yards after first contact. Now it's a sweep. They're testing them with Ja'Cory Day, who is met after a one-yard play. At about midfield, Sheridan up the gut. Again, a good push from this offensive line. Already 83 rushing yards. If it's working, you gotta stick with it. Miller, third and inches, he gets the carry in just enough to move the chains. This is the most promising the running game has looked this year. New set of downs, quick pass, and Roscoe Sheridan playing slot receiver with a quick gain of six. That is a wrinkle we have not seen before. Play fake now, they're trying some of that. Caught Castillo for the first down. Big stiff arm from Donnie. Gain of 10. We're seeing more of the running game, more play action. Kalispell's trying some new things. Now through a hole is Corey Miller, and there's the touchdown saving tackle after a gain of nine. Kalispell back in the red zone, battle on second down. Checks it underneath, that'll do just fine. First down, Sheridan. Two tight ends on the field. On first down, it's Roscoe Sheridan. Met quickly and taken down the line of scrimmage. No gain. Kalispell trying to find the end zone. Third down. Battle. Jump ball for Lamar Williams. And it's deflected away by the corner. And San Jose State will force the field goal. Lamar Williams getting some chances. We want to see him make some plays. This first half is going by rather quickly as the Spartans take over, down three, and Hull with another good carry, getting nine yards, most of those after a broken tackle. Second down and one, safety blitz, and there is Jay Page flying in to sack Montel Aaron. Kalispell trying to get more aggressive, and they didn't get to the quarterback much last week. On third and five, Aaron has to check it down, really good coverage here by Kalispell as they force a short throw that will not move the chains. Two and a half minutes to go in this first half as Kalispell will take it back up three. It's Day. Starting forward, now breaking to the far sideline. Day in the open field. Has to get around the corner and he can't, but it's still a 40 yard punt return. Ja'Cory Day giving this team some short fields. Pitch out to Sheridan. He can't outrun the pursuit. It's a loss of four. Second down and 14, Amante Jones now into the slot. And wide open is Donnie Castillo. He makes the grab. Could have been either him or Amante Jones there. Four catches now for Donnie Castillo as we are inside two minutes. Check down Sheridan, his third catch of the day. And this takes Kalispell inside the 10. Again with their two tight end personnel. Pitch left, this is Corey Miller. And he is chased down after a short gain. Goal to go, Kalispell trying to get this in the end zone. Here's second down. Quick pressure and JR Battle never stood a chance. Busting through this interior is Ted Richardson. It's third down, Warhawks. Jones and Castillo to the left. Jump ball, knocked away from Amante Jones. The Spartans again make the play. Kalispell needing to figure out some plays they like in the red zone. As the Spartans are keeping this close, it's been a good game so far. Kalispell up six. Let's get this second half underway. Kalispell up, and we've seen some good things from the offense. I was hoping we would after a really bad performance last week. They have had issues, but they've worked around them, and the running game has gotten going. That's exciting. 
Meanwhile, the defense is also doing their job. It's Hall on first down to begin the third quarter, and Shane Hall loses two, met by Jared Merritt. Second down and 12, Kalispell in a cover three shell, caught by Doucette. That'll make it third down and three. This is where Kalispell likes to change things up. No blitz, Aaron complete to Blackwell, and he hangs on through the contact. Gain of 11. First and 10, delayed give, and Hall is met. Good job by Merritt, slowing the play up, and Anton Slater cleans up. Second and 12, Hall to the right. Met, but stays on his feet and falls ahead, somehow gaining yardage. Now it's a third and 10 for Kalispell. Again, just four on the rush. Aaron hit, but sails it deep down the middle, and Soul comes down with it inside the five. 56-yard connection as they test the All-American safety, Jay Page, who couldn't locate the ball until it was too late. First and goal, San Jose State. It's King to the goal line, powering through. Touchdown, Spartans. And this will give San Jose State their first lead of the game. We've seen Kalispell have good possessions, but they're also kicking field goals. San Jose State's big plays have resulted in touchdowns, so they're on top as Sheridan falls across the first down marker. That's a gain of 12. Two tight ends here for Kalispell. Again, Sheridan, and another good run. This goes for six. This is unlike anything we've seen from the ground game this year. Again, Sheridan, but on third down, he gets stuffed, and the Spartans come up with a big stop to follow up their big touchdown drive. Here's their chance to seize control of this game. It's Aaron running option. Kalispell is all over it. Two players account for the quarterback. Kalispell's got to get better at taking down those mobile quarterbacks as Aaron on second down hits Blackwell coming back to the ball. Third and short. Stacking the box here. It's a run with Hall. He gets around the left edge, and that's a first down. Dashing across the 50-yard line. Gain of 21. Shane Hall is looking like a really good running back. Now it's King giving him a breather. Good run off right tackle. This is a gain of four. High formation. Third and three. Aaron with the fake. A little spider two wide banana, and Lewis only gets one. And he's brought out of bounds by TJ Strong. So that'll bring on the field goal attempt. This is a long kick. And it's way out to the left and no good. Kalispell takes over with a couple minutes to go in this third quarter. Pitch out again to Sheridan around the edge. That is the longest run of the year for Kalispell, 20 yards. We're also seeing a lot of two tight end packages today. Catch made by Donnie Castillo. He's been busy, gain of 17. That's now five catches for Castillo. Same personnel, first down, and a good pull there by the guard as Roscoe Sheridan picks up six. Kalispell's near 150 on the ground today. Pitch it out to the right, Corey Miller. A first down inside the 10 and taken down after a gain of 10 yards. Roscoe Sheridan returns from the bunch look. They give it to Sheridan. He'll drag Spartans into the end zone. Touchdown, Warhawks back on top. Two scores on the day for Sheridan, giving him three on the season. Kalispell now going for two. They're up by five. Well protected and battle throws a strike to Ja'Cory Day. And it's a touchdown lead. Why don't we check on one of the toughest teams in the Mountain West as New Mexico Won their game today, 41-20, and they are 3-0 to start this season. Kalispell trying to go to 3-1 as this third quarter is coming to a close. Shane Hall, gain of four. Stacking the box now on third and short. Another throw, Aaron deep to the sideline. They have done some weird stuff today on third down. Kalispell takes over here in the fourth quarter. Pitch right to Sheridan. And this time they can't get around the edge. They've ran that pitch a number of times in this game to both running backs. Now back to the air. Battle takes a hit but gets it away and connects downfield. Touchdown! Sonny Archer goes the distance. A 62-yard touchdown as Battle shows off the arm strength and the accuracy to put it where his receiver can make a play. 
Even with the pressure in his face, he finds Sonny Archer. Kalispell hits the big play to go up two scores. Can they hang on to this lead? Defense has played well to this point. First down for Aaron, he'll look to scramble and there's no one there for Kalispell. John Charles giving chase, forces him out of bounds but the damage was done. High form here for the Spartans, they pitch it out to Hull who's taken down by TJ Strong. I really like TJ Strong, he's one of my favorite players on this defense. Third and seven, Aaron chased to his right, he's sacked by Jared Merritt. They bust out the blitz this time and it works. This good day for the Kalispell defense continues. Back with the Kalispell offense, look at that lane for Sheridan. Getting to the outside and falling forward for the extra yardage. What a great job by these offensive linemen today. They've created so many rushing opportunities. Now it's a run for Terrence McKinley the third. Gain of two. Sheridan returns, third and seven. They give battle time, and he connects outside the numbers. Justin McClellan makes his first catch of the game. Kalispell continuing this possession with Roscoe Sheridan. They're just getting yards in big chunks. Sheridan had to be frustrated coming into this game, but he is having a phenomenal day. On third down, he gets enough to keep the chains moving. 130 on the ground for Roscoe Sheridan. Now it's Miller, and the blocks continue to create openings on the outside. Corey Miller, gain of 11. This is just a phenomenal performance for the running game. We'll give it to Miller again, running off tackle. Gets around the safety. A little help from Jones, and he's going to the end zone. 31 yard touchdown. Now the longest run of the year for Kalispell. Big day for Miller and Sheridan as they have combined for over 200 rushing yards. Once Kalispell realized the opportunities were there, they would not stop taking advantage. 38-17, Kalispell on their way to a win unless something wild happens here in the final two minutes. The defense has only allowed 10 points. Remember, seven points came off a pick six. Spartans want the big play and they'll get it from Blackwell. A phenomenal catch, maybe play of the day. A minute to go, Aaron heaving deep again, intercepted by Chris Smith. Number two on the season for him as Kalispell will take over to run off the remaining 62 seconds. Brett Mitchell getting the play again this week. Better circumstances this time around. Wide open is Oscar Williams as they will try to throw the football here a little bit. Gain of 27. But Kalispell is going to move to 3-1. and one. There's a lot to be happy about with this performance. Again, on the catch, Oscar Williams, gain of 9. Maybe one more play here for the Warhawks. They'll run option, and McKinley is trapped in the backfield. Well, that is going to do it. Zeros on the clock in a 21-point victory for Kalispell. Their highest scoring output this season. They win 38-17. Big day for Roscoe Sheridan. He got the workload. He got the yardage. Really proud of this offense. If you had to hand out a game ball today, I think it'd need to go collectively to the offensive line. The way they opened up lanes for Sheridan and Miller was phenomenal. We haven't had a day like this in a very long time. JR Battle did not have to throw the ball very much. And while they did give up some pressures, I thought that they gave us enough chances to make plays, especially with that big touchdown to Sonny Archer. So the running game steals the show in week four. Defensively, we only allowed 10 points. We got more pressure than we did last week. Now there were some big plays allowed and I think that the Spartans kind of just ruined their own plans with some bad third down play calls and they probably didn't stick to their running game enough. They were doing really well until they were forced to throw and made too many mistakes. There are still things I want to clean up with red zone offense and allowing these big runs on defense whether it's from running backs or quarterbacks and our next matchup will pit us against another mobile quarterback which means I'll have to get into practice and figure out some things that I want to do so that we're not giving up 15, 20, 25 yard runs to the quarterbacks. UNLV is a good team and they love to run the football, so we need to focus our efforts on stopping the run next week. And hopefully we can run the football ourselves. I do not want this to be a one week wonder. This was too much fun. 
Many of you have also asked about recruiting. Blackjack and I are working on the recruiting special for this season. I think it'll be the next episode, if not the one after. And I'm telling you this time around, it's going to be a lot more fun. I can't wait to share some of these recruits with you, and I hope to do that very shortly. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I thought it was a really fun one. Please leave your feedback below in the comment section and subscribe to the channel for much more Callus Bell Dynasty. Hit that notification bell so you get a notification when the next video goes up. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.